But once again, similar to how for TSM, you can't rule out the Wardell factor. Just like that, you can't rule out the tense factor either. He finds a 4K in a round, but TSM Wardell already finding an early pick. Has to be good news for TSM. Ten's now going to sit out. TSM likely on the precipice of winning another round. Oh my gosh, Wardell, Wardell already with four with... Hey, what's up guys? So yeah, funny story. Remember how a couple of days back I showed you my YouTube analytics and showed you that 95% of you guys aren't subscribed? Oh, well, you won't guess what happened. More of you guys unsubscribed after that and actually the number of people who are unsubscribed and watched the video actually went up. So just a quick reminder, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. It doesn't cost you anything and enjoy the video. Insight. Looking to inch away the second kill. He's up against Kampeki with the operator. As soon as Kampeki peeks just a millimeter further, his head should be taken. Wait, oh, no way! Kampeki, how? A push as soon as possible because a rotation is coming in from Genji. Now this is going to be Sinatra. He gets oh. hit by Wind before the Rocky gets fired off. Wind misses so many shots but always hits the ones that he really needs to hit. This is so good from him. Sean has a really nice position. Win even better though. The Rocky yeah, can't even take his fights. And it's just Thirty seconds in this left. corner. Just staring. How is he That spike never might get to the side. <laughs> Trend. And if he one can keep it up, I can see this being a very one try to find. Pale in comparison to what the boys were able to put together! Silencing me will be Brax! I know it's against pistols, but that's still gonna make me go crazy! <laughs> and KZ says, no jump peeking for you, Poach. Well, you've been working on those jumps in the gym, but uh, not over my APC when I am posted with an operator. Oh! <laughs> Yo, KZ through triple! Mikhail right around the corner, hiding behind that toxic wall. It's Mikhail trying to win and win, and jeez, Mikhail. TSM sniffs it out, however, and they're on the flank. So Rosa, so Rosa's on the other side. So Rosa's able to get one. The Rolling Thunder comes out as Tens dices up Wardell, a three v two in favor of TSM, and Tens does it again. He's the last one standing. However, in a one v two, he's got an operator. He's got the Blade Storm. He hasn't been spotted. Wow. Oh, he's able to get one. I got the spike. Thirty seconds left. So the shot. Oh, ten. Ten. Oh my God. Who's he? Yeah, he's gonna keep There's doing it, man. He got the ace finally. It just took a, an extra round to actually get on board. Don't tell me you're what? He got a second. Oh my God. He put the way. Oh my God. You're making me sound like a girl in this land center here! But this is direct if you're a player or if you're a spectator, what if it's poker and temperature? A double oh. here! A triple from Nitro! It's a two versus one, and this is gonna be all on Hiko here. He's got a dodge hunter's fury if he wants any chance to survive, he's gonna manage it. It's sober on sober, lads. Sober on sober, both are so low, and Hiko 27 HP with probably being down to six, and he gets the spray! But there's not gonna be enough time! Is there time? Is there time? Is this worth OT? And if the Cloud9, this could be series point, map point. Spike down, and now it's all down to Haze in a 1v2 scenario. Can he bring you this around? Run. Oh, there's the lockdown as well to buy some time and to force Haze the round. You've got at least six more seconds that you're going to work with because you know he can't push into that. But he's got to go here. One player remaining. Oh, 1v1. Fire Doable. No! That's what we can relics. Showstopper as well. Waiting for somebody to peek out. A bazooka in his hand. Guess who's there on the opposite side? But it whips now. It's down to the 1v1. He's just trying to no. run. He's just trying to hide. But you can't run from his TSM. Stay alive. Frags in the world for TSM. There's only two alive. And even the peak's going to come through. Wardell pick up Hiko as he makes a long. Stop that. The 2v2, they're gonna go for the defuse at this point because people have moved away. I mean, why not? Go for it. The smoke is gonna come in. I don't think there's enough time for Wardell, but it's scared 100 thieves for their team. He's still gonna go on the defuse. He's got it. 
As the drone goes down, as the trap wire goes down, and Dapper with the Bulldog already finds one. Can he make it another? But they're pushing onto the site. The right clicks come through. Trill gonna find the kills, but it's a collateral for Shazam to shut this push left. down. And it's a wall bang to finish. Let's go, Aid. We got the run it back straight over onto the A site here. Manages to get a little information, but there was a lot to cover up sight lines. And in all of the mad chaos, C9 managed to push through. Have to work with Paul. Well, uh, I was about to say I like the call from Teamfight to fall off here, but they don't fall off. They just give up some D main control and then come right on back. And Odaris, he has no fear going forward for three. Make it four. Ace? Come on, give him the ace. One bullet, that's all he needs. Okay, he needs more than one bullet, apparently. But come on. I mean, he knows where the jet is. A body shot's going to put him in the grave. There's the ace. My god, I'll be honest. Oh, that's this clean. is pretty convincing from the boys. They made this in three, three, two. What? What? And what Not info off of what basis did Hope have to actually shoot down there? It's gonna be one and the second kill. Sinatra, the man of the hour here, finds the shock dart kill, has the recon bolt as well, and the glitch pop Odin is gonna get the spray down. They trade 3k. Now down to 10. It's gonna get one, but not a second. 3v1. It's all down to Alexander. He's on the site. Has all of his kids to play with. Gets the heads up, but can't figure out the final bolt for the kill. Now low health pools. This is doable. Sidesteps the paranoia. Flash has missed. one more shot. Comes through. He's got a blaze wall. Has to run it back as well. Baits out the defuse. 1v3 and the blaze wall. But he's starting to walk it. Where Dell peeks on in. Guess who's on the other side? It's Cloud9. Down the drone. Headshot. Back down to the 1v3. Finds the second. Finds the third. Are you kidding me? Down to the 1v1. Coming in from behind. It's Relics playing the tower. Spike is taking the drone. Slows things down. Guess what? Aftershock surprise. Now he's playing behind them. The flash in the eyes of Nick. Oh, now it takes comes down. Guess who's there? Guess who's waiting? Oh. It's Sabrosa, but he still falls. The spike is down. A 2v2. Cloud9 up against TSM. Now the spike is planted. 14 seconds left on the clock. Aftershock stops the plant. And, and he left. takes relics to boot. Now all they need to do is play real fast here for Cordell. There's the smoke coming in, but he's just prepared. Too aware of what's coming in that direction. He needs to back up the one. The cloud burst comes out at a bad time. There's going to be a gap on the right. You might need to be a little careful, but no. Wardell makes it look easy. Spray transfer to the third. Not a big deal. I'm not very sure it'll happen. Paranoia out. Will not connect. Wardell, and he's got four. And the ace. Eco ace. It's a stats pattern, a motivation gainer. And here he comes. He's gonna even, <laughs> he'll even dash for it. Why not? Get the tailwind. Cal9 takes the upper hand for the entries inside that site. Uh, but I think, oh, again, you should have just shot, like, kind of saw the brawl on that fist around on that first half, just to give a better chance for your teammates who are rotating. Get a better chance. Ciao. Relics times that first first shot elsewhere. Drone has pushed through the garage, and he's getting a little risky. Curveball goes up, it goes too high, it actually hits the top of the door frame. It doesn't go around the corner. Flame wall coming in, so flame wall will at least protect him, sort of. Oh, as that wall from the Guardian spam put Sean way lower than one would expect. Sabrosa sneaking closer and closer to the stairs. The Lear goes behind him, and that's what allows that to happen. He'll pass the Lear, and there's the ult being popped. Does he get there in time to cancel it? No, he allows it. Infuriating as a player to be on the other side of that one. As you watch that ghost-like figure disappear, and just like that, the odds disappearing for both teams, actually. It's come down now to a two-on-two. -two as Sean has done what Sean does best. There's the rolling thunder coming from to try and make the retake a bit easier, but they still got to deal with Sean. He's already got one ace. This factor is out of commission. We'll see now as they start to push on in. Mitch. Mitch has done it time and time again, but this time he's taken out. Shinobi, however, the IGL for Cloud9, looking to keep things alive, but he's going to get taken out. Cloud9 just down to one. Vice in a 1v2. One knows exactly what both of them are. Oh! oh! Vice, oh my gosh! We have seen plenty of times before. It just not, not appeared to be likely. The jet dashing in. What? We'll find both JSALs and Blakers. Hits him up 3-0. Cutler towards Cat. Lear. He's gonna come in, he's gonna swing, Wardell just finds them all. Can he get the ace? No. He'll be shut down. I have to come alive, leaving it only just down to two. Hiko 
and also dicey eco goes for double and now it's all down to him this is gonna have to be a quad kill for him to pull things through keep him alive he's able to get the triple and he doesn't know where the last player is alexander oh. he's creeping these guys bring around the rosies bring around the rosies and he's creeping out he kind of doesn't know he's got no intel at all oh and he's using the hunter's fury and that's a good way to beat the time and he makes no the way Clutch master no way Nico. look at Zach. can he find a way to hold off against this hit mina first one in able to come right through the trap wire no problem also has a cyber cage to dance through able to get there and zach does he have any idea that this player is actually inside their own cyber cage the flash oh. comes out but zach deals with the first and the second against the third flash zach how have you done that go for it or just make sure that he can't get off this site but he's still able to do damage on the heat but uh, it's like not again i don't want to deal with this turret please look at this He's just going for it. Waddell is forced to dash away to back off and... Oh! The B site, something we haven't seen too much Spike of. Planted. The reason being, this site is rough to hold on to. And with kills coming in like that from Sub Rosa, it might be about to get a little bit worse. He's actually going to TV pass. He's playing so well. He lockdowns as he possibly can on this attack. Waddell is going to meet them. That's a really good paranoia, though. He isn't going to catch anybody. And Hunter Fury is going to be He misses the shots. All start to rotate. All start to funnel over. Shinobi... Who's had a slow map. He's gonna hit a good paranoia. Looks like he's gonna try to tell you back behind them. <gasps> oh no! He's not canceled oh! oh my gosh! Shinobi does it! Ladies and gentlemen, drops it down to 2v2. Somehow stays alive. As well, sends a rocket into spawn. A breach charge coming out as they start to work their way in. Oh, there's got one going right around the corner. There's player one from up on top. Player Tender and NA. For sure, and Wardell gonna be playing short. He hasn't done this so far on the side, and yeah, again, this one v one with. We'll peek in and see if he can do some damage. Maybe take a, a peek, and he. <laughs> oh, 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 from the enemy. Oh man! Finally, we start to see that Odin the rolling thunder comes out. They're throwing in everything but the kitchen sink. But Tens is still alive. Tens is the kitchen sink. Bought out win temporarily, but now Mummy's got an op of his own. If Win peeks out of the door there. We'll find a little bit of a deadly situation. That's the trade. Now it's down to the 1v1. They don't know where he is. There's the TP for Mame. He's going to get himself into a little bit of a different situation. Grabs the Vandal. But Wynn's got those knives ready. Going to get it to half here. Starting to come through. Down to the 1v1. Classic in hand, but Mame! Well, First 50 so far, so good. Bitch. Oh, they know he's there. He's going to get one. He's going wow. to get the second one. Oh, he might be saving for an op in the round to follow. That might be the play here. But he's looking to get involved. Vice chance. It really isn't going to be possible here. We'll swing through. Gets one. Dismisses a wave on 12 HP now. Versus a bunch of ultimates. Bunch of players that know where he is. Util could even clean this one up. As soon as he's got anything left to throw in there. Could certainly do so. Fiend can use Empress. But I don't think he will. TP's in. Yeah. But Pico's waiting on the other end. If he gets an overheal instead of a dismiss, maybe the Empress is the play, but Hiko now down low. Oh. Okay, now all of a sudden, there's the healing off of Hiko's headshot. So now a 1v2 like, for Empress, me. Empress. Do you pop this Empress here? Yes. I agree with you, Avril. This is the must-needed time in a 1v2 situation. Steel coming from the side of Hookah, whereas you're going to get Asuna coming Just from the back side of Defender spawn. He's not committing for it, not as of yet. He's going to hear footsteps to his right and gunshots but is more weary of the battle coming from the backside. Gonna get the headshot, there it is. Now for the dismiss, gets the read onto where Steel is. He wants to spam through. He's gonna get the 1v4 if he can find one more. Oh my god! Feed! Right. He's got the back in. He go 14 seconds. All Dignitas need to do is just stay alive and not overpeat themselves, buddy. He's gonna actually land the shock dart, so now he's gonna try to go for more, get in the plant of the spike, both players. Not gonna charge him, he sticks it. So now he's got an opportunity. The cyber cage blocks it, but Hiko, you need your gun out! And he gets the one and he's able to get the second! Oh. How does this happen? The economy will sit at 5,000 every single round. Oh the alt points will be at half, but let's put that on pause because we're seeing it playing as well. That's huge and that not only does his rifle deal damage, but as the raise, he's also got one and shells. Last one and it's come standing. down though to a one-on-one. -on -one. Cutler's on 11 HP. As Mikael quickly picks up the frag onto drone, goes for the tap plant, tries to bait Ten out seconds the play. Left. But Cutler has to dedicate to the plant in a moment. He's still playing with that clock, trying to bait out his opposition. And now he goes for the dedication. No, he's baited That's him insane. out! It's a huge play! Like it's not necessarily them not letting their shots do this. Just look at that. It's how it's being set up. It's a flash point that's coming through from Vice. Tens Ooh. comes out, gets two kills. Finally, Caboose gets his first two points on the scoreboard, but it's just how 
top line of one player in standing. Group right now and enabling their players. I to know get exactly. Done. But where suddenly, as I okay. see that, we have FNS that's coming through on a two versus two. So Relix just goes for the 360. A nice little yeah, casual 360. Nice. It's now the one v one, as it's gonna be should or the raise battle, as you can see. It's Target gets blasted away. Look at the damage being dealt, though. Relics has this one very much under his control. The blast pack down just goes out deep. Relics in the same position. Well, Ten just illustrates that same trait with a character that also has a flash and a self heal. As Ten's escapes with the distance like he's done. Besides, Sabroza was waiting and playing his angle last time. Now his vice starts to come through. Can a multi kill come through for Drone? He's hoping for it. Mines two in the round. Can he find another? Yes, he can! Unfortunately, actually does not get the kill onto Hayes. So Hayes dispatches him with the headshot and they're moving inside that site. It's down to a two versus two. They can't really do anything. It's not that useful, but Hayes continues to walk forward, gets the headshot to win. That would be the way to take care relics. Shock dart is going just as much. Shot's going to almost ring true with Wardell down to just one single digit HP. That's the off shot that'll connect, but the time is ticking. Vice has won many a clutch. This may be another one for the bag. TSM, they don't have a lot of information on the site. They still have a lot of time, but the spike is starting to increase in tempo, and that is a glaring sign that TSM need to act. One is diffusing. Spray from Vice. Shock Dart's gonna help out in that process, but he's still alive. Oh. Still defusing. Bros, don't fake. But Wardell. Uh, wait, excuse me. Watching that line. Missed shot from Huynh, though. And a rare miss at that. That puts the attackers in a really weird position. They have to run to this B site where now they're gonna be wandering into Wardell, who's got the knives Ten out. Seconds left. He's waiting for them. He's ready. One Does he hit the clicks? There's the first one going his way. The smoke comes. Fire shots from 10. Headshot's gonna send him. Good night, Wardell with two turns. Gonna be the third one. Can he find the fourth? That's Mitch just trying to escape. He's just going to try and play that. He's trying to get Warbank. Warbank is Under ropes and un undetected. A spike goes down and they do not know. Spike he planted. He drone his top catwalk. He's gonna aftershock him out of position, but his teammate beats the ball. Oh, drone doubles before the aftershock run hand. They'll both play back. Sign a double peek, and Hayes has got them both. Yes, sir. The rolling thunder from Breach and Steel connects the off, but now they have to find more because time is ticking. The bike is getting planted, but it's a little too late, and there's nothing they can do. But Hiko, he peeks at the right time. Of course, though, the entirety of Exotics marching on forwards, looking around, not even being quiet about a relic is able to find not one, not two, but three. You should run. Off your feet. Lockdown comes out and cutler's going aggressive five seconds he's gonna just play for the kills cutler going ham with three backing this is a perfect time for a rotate to come through you see spider probably gonna be the second hand in case anything goes awry but the boys they're so afraid they push they know exactly what's gonna be coming towards them if they even try to bother to 30 seconds out left rack here but the thing is oh, no. rack, he's a very oh. patient man himself he's gonna get two just Dancing around the corner. Dog for Shazam. He's behind everybody. Fakes is queuing up the paranoia. queuing up the smokes. He's gonna get taken out. It's one. It's two. It's three. Shazam will fall, but it all falls apart. Here, Esports. Now they're coming back in. Operator not quite lining up that first shot. Now has to re-peak into two. Beautiful tight angle there, though. From Odorous, and we're starting to run out of time. For Premier Esports, it's just two of them. Def on the flank, coming around from tree. His position is known here by the Omen, and Symmetra will be able to hit the shot. Classic out now to stall out R10, and I think he's done enough. The timing isn't My there. God. Finds, oh, the headshot to start things off. Repositions on the other side of the smoke. Has actually the perfect position to get that kill. Oh. <laughs> Finds one, finds two, oh, my goodness. Not necessarily the easiest job in the world. And I know that players like Angel, for example, have said that the use of a uh, Killjoy. I like the use of the smoke, though. They covered off the kill. And Genji are in the area. They got to work out here for Envy. There's that rolling thunder that you called, but Food is able to get one. Give him the third on the round as he knows exactly where the last player on Gen G is. They're just going to smoke up and buy time. You don't have to play this aggressively. And again, on Gen G, it's just Sean. Sean, the new addition to the roster. Left. What kind of heroics do you have? He's going to blast pack his way in, but he only has. 
work out that way. He rotated early and he found success. Now we'll get the six steps of this round. Shinobi once oh again, Shinobi! Gonna find two, they're gonna push in. Looking for the third, has to go open with the run. Right now, it's Ed's turn. M Maybe patiently Relics is able to get one with the Stinger. There's the Rolling Thunder, it's gonna be traded back as both teams avail themselves of that TSM. Just down to three members left as they fight to get to overtime, but the gun from Cloud9 may be too much. As TSM just down to two members left, Relics gets onto the site. And On Wardell, there's the Deep Dart going in, does give away at least one of their positions. As they try to work their way in, they'll take up the camp first. It's down to Cutler now against Sean. Sean looking for the ace with just 5 HP. Economy for Gen G. No more meddling. So Broza picks off the first of the defense. Player one does do significant damage. An additional damage dealt as well to Cypher. So Broza finding another kill on the win as he clips the bullets through the wall. Gimon, yeah, he'll hear it. Party got up one up in heaven. Nice flick 30 over seconds from left. Rosa with the off. But now they flash out as they try and slow this down even more. Drones in wow. position with a specter, able to gun down Mikael. The battle goes Just back did. and forth, but it's TSM who manages to bring it down to a two on two, and the clock is on their side. 15 seconds left, and drones still here on the site. They haven't been able to stop this fight. Ten, 10 seconds, seconds left. left. GMD is on a two versus one. Really, he just got to flip it into the side. He's looking to at least try to go for a one and they are But he hears the footsteps no across the board, that. and that's it. They're going to win on something for TSM, and that is... Players starting to work right through there. from screens. You've got Hayes laying out the toxic screen to make it a little bit easier for them to get out onto the site. Sean's right around the corner. Paranoid at first. There's a flashpoint coming through as well. Wayne is there with the backup. Sean's got the big stop, though, and it's now down to Hayes. It's a one-on-four coming through from heaven. The first shot is right on the money. ...on them on split 13-1, to one, which is a map we will see at some point if we get to it. But here we go, Mitch, with the frenzy. Kicking things off here as they make their way out onto the site. The killjoy with the opening kill, not something you say all that often. And it's a follow-up for Mitch as well. He's making the frenzy look wonderful as he continues this relentless slump. Salt gets spammed, and Mitch has now found that killjoy ult. And they actually do have a player who's trapped in it. <clears throat> Trying to get away, ends up getting gunned down. There's also a nano swarm in position. One player remaining. remaining. Yet again, Envy looks Spike soft planted. as Tens is popping off. It's down and now just one. It's just Vanessa oh, who's baby. hiding inside the dark cover. And yeah, that round and the game ends right there. But because it's planted on the other side, it, it just makes it unwinnable. I mean, you saw it. The Sova just sat there and stuck it the whole time. Now, food has gotten aggressive and he's going to send a deep rocket down at four.